So controversial pastor Paul McKenzie has defended himself against claims of leading a cult-like church. In his statement with the police, McKenzie claimed that he neither preached about the end of the world nor called on his followers to fast till death. And as Francis Talaki now reports, McKenzie has confessed to subdividing the piece of land with no sale agreement or a title deed. Bwana amenituma katika ujumbe ambao utawakata wewe utakukata. Controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie has been in police custody for days now. In his initial statement recorded with the police over the Shakahola tragedy, McKenzie in his defense says he did not call anyone to join him at Shakahola or even ask his followers to fast till death, adding that his own family was not fasting. In the statement, McKenzie father says there is no physical church anywhere including deep inside the Shakahola forest, but says that he bought the 800-acre piece of land in Shakahola subdivided the peace to his followers who bought at will and some of his followers are yet to clear payments for the purchase of the said piece of land. During his tour of Shekaola Forest, Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome said that the ownership of the 800 acre piece of land was in dispute. Not a criminal with us owns 800 acres here. Well, there's a matter under investigations. Because other parties have come forward saying he does not own this parcel of land. So it's a matter again at the investigations, active investigations. So the ownership of this parcel of land is in dispute. I stop at that. In the statement, controversial pastor claims that he cannot account for the number of people who are in the forest because he did not call them and that there was no sales agreement or title for those who bought the said piece of land. At the Mombasa Law Court, embattled pastor Ezekiel Odero's attempt to have access to his bank accounts and reopening of his television channel was dealt a major blow after the High Court declined to lift orders of freezing his account. Mombasa High Court Judge Ogla Sewe noted that the orders were issued in Nairobi at Milimani Court and that her court had no jurisdiction to handle the matter. Other avenues open in the circumstances would be a review before the magistrate himself or an appeal from the decision of the magistrate. So in the light of the foregoing, the orders that commend themselves to me and which are here by grant are as follows. A, that other than prayer G, the rest of the petitioner's prayers in the notice of motion dated 3rd May 2023 fail and are hereby dismissed. The High Court judge says the reopening of his television channel should be handled by the Communication Authority of Kenya. Francis Mtulaki, Citizen TV, Shakahola.